uh, today's exhibition first of all i would i would like to thank you to introduce me through your channel and myself narendra mohan pande pgt physics over here in in charge of this exhibition it was too nice its name is shakti science fit 2023 and the chief guest was is today's chief guest was uh, ssp dr gorav grover he introduced with the students interacted nicely and appreciated also all the projects and models he liked very much and he also remembered his school days when he was also making the models with among uh, with his friends and with uh, the, with his teachers so it was a very nice experience today for everyone for the teachers also and for the students also good morning the topic of our model is when earth collides with asteroid in this we have shown the collision of earth and asteroid with the magnetic effect and this is the dummy model when earth collides with asteroid on a large scale and the main motive of our model is to teach children in schools about this uh, collision and uh, with the help of this model uh, the children could see it practically instead of seeing it on a mobile phone uh, like this asteroids named as chicxulub collided with earth 66 million years ago it was 9 mile wide and uh, wiped out uh, most uh, dinosaurs and planet uh, plants and animal species on 50 on february 2013 on 15 february 2013 asteroids lumbered into the earth atmosphere nearly by the 7000 km per hour this was the last collision of the earth with asteroid The radius of the earth is 6721 and the circumference of the earth is 72075 km. it is a machine named bulletin which was which contained two posts from which a person's head was beheaded it was widely used during the french revolution in france in during the years of 1973 to 1974 it was it was a machine which contains two posts and it most the last execution made by this machine was in the year 1977 of hamida danjanzoti so it in in the fields of in the fields of social science it is a very important machine as it can be used by the professors or the schoolers to understand history with more fun and interact with history sir this is our model which is having a 3d matlab three multi purpose it is peace baker power generation with accident prevention in this model we have used a solar solar power energy at first we have converted this solar energy into a rechargeable battery this battery further can give the energy to the street light we can burn electricity in the night time with the help of this street, uh, solar energy second production is of the speed breaker power generation as in india there are too many speed breakers so we have utilized this energy in this the speed breaker is connected with a metal rod this metal rod is connected with a dynamo this dynamo converts the energy into this if we move the car like this the energy will produce this way if any car is coming from that side the energy will produce this side this is our first second phase of model in third model this is the main model of this our, our model in this uh, in india as we know uh, hilly areas have too much accident prevention so as we see there is a green light here is no car for this car it is a indication sign as it is in green in color so any car will move safely but if any car is suddenly moving from here it will be in red in color and produce a sensor voice which will be helpful for the driver of this side to get the indication that any car is coming from that side and he can be given a indicator sign he can be saved if he want we give this for accident prevention we can prevent energy with the help of this thank you sir in english sir so we are uh, here we are doing many methods of farming so for reducing the uh, challenges faced by farmers water conservation and economically beneficial for farmers to take here we are using rain water harvesting and here we will collect the water afterwards it will go in the tank and then it will come in the here for irrigation purpose we are using and different kinds of purposes we can use so it will be irrigated here for the lands and here we are using mulching mal in mulching we can uh, so that uh, by by protecting the plants we can place a plastic by which the moisture get uh, will be stored there it cannot be evaporated by the sunlight and uh, here is anida if animal we enter into the field the farmer will get alerted and it will economically benefit for the farmer also now
here we are doing poultry farming like we are, uh, we are rearing chicken uh, chickens here you can see downside there is aqua water by this uh, by the waste of uh, by the waste of chickens here fish are also growing by the and uh, we also need, know that the fish water is very nutritious so here from here we are doing drip irrigation and drip irrigation system uh, uh, we are doing here because as we know drip system provide water drop by drop to the plants root in a right amount and uh, and it uh, it also help us to conserve the water here as we know this is a small village so we are using here solar panels to supply the electricity to all the uh, to the uh, in the village because it is not uh, because all the farmers are not very rich to afford the electricity bills so they can use solar panels to conserve the electricity to also use at the night greenhouse is greenhouse effect uh, the greenhouse will pro uh, protect the plants by ultraviolet rays which is coming from the sun so we are using sun uh, transparent glass to protect the plants and uh, giving them a limited amount of sunlight only to grow well so this is this is global climate change nowadays we are seeing that farmers farmers are spreading pesticides in the farms because of that vegetables fruits are getting poisonous right and that poisonous fruits and vegetables we are consuming it and when we are consuming that fruits and um, fruits and vegetables we are becoming ill and after that there is acid rain nowadays the rain water which is coming it is not so pure to ha to have it or to drink it uh, so it is shown over here and here it is industrial waste industrial waste are directly thrown into the rivers and oceans without purifying it because of that water pollution is increasing plus uh, marine life is also getting affected here it is tower now what is we are seeing that towers the towers are getting uh, earlier crows and many birds were uh, were seen but nowadays crows are uh, birds have reduced the number of birds have been reduced because of this the radiation of the towers are are affecting on the birds mind and not only the birds it is it is affecting our also our cell also as it is affecting as brain tumor plus it is all about uh, the motto behind this project is if prevention will not be taken today survival uh, would be difficult tomorrow and rest of the details are there on the board thank you sir it's a rocket launch model hai aur is motor ki help se ये रॉकेट लॉन्च होगा और इस मोटर की हेल्प से ये विक्रम लैंडर लैंड करेगा this is electricity generator through this electricity generator the mechanical energy gets converted into electrical energy this here in the jar box we will store collect the waste and we will burn the waste through the solar panel the it will sense the heat and it will convert the heat energy into electrical energy through the uh, wires it will get, the energy gets stored into the capacitor and through the wires it will get stored get passed into the batteries and through the wires the led bulbs and led lights will glow and the smoke which has been formed by the burning this uh, that will uh, pass through the pipe and gets mixed into the water and the carbon which has been formed by the burning of the waste gets uh, gets collected into the water and the roller when will rotate the roller the um, it will absorb the carbon and the harmful gases so the uh, it so the air pollution has been prevented so the uh, water uh, pollutant water gets passed through the pipes into the cooling filter and uh, the cooling filter uh, will uh, through the motors the, it will uh, purify it will purify the water into fresh water and through this water uh, water pollution gets prevented and uh, the electricity also gets uh, generated and uh, it will not harm the environment also through this ka naam hai automatic railway bridge hamare project ka naam automatic kyun hai kyunki hamara jo bridge hai wo automatically bahar jayega aur andar aayega yahan pe sensor kaam nahi kar rahe hain dhoop ki wajah se
इसमें क्या है कि जब ट्रेन यहाँ पे आएगा तो एक बजट सिस्टम लगा है तो ताकि ताकि जो भी लोग यहाँ ब्रिज पे खड़े रहेंगे उन्हें एक अलर्ट हो जाए कि वो ब्रिज अब अंदर जाने वाला है और जैसे ही ट्रेन यहाँ सेंसर के पास आएगा वैसे ही ये ब्रिज अंदर हो जाएगा और ये तब तक अंदर रहेगा जब तक कि ट्रेन चली नहीं जाती है और जैसे ही ट्रेन चली जाएगी वैसे ही ब्रिज बाहर आ जाएगा ये हेल्पफुल रहेगा ताकि लोग बूढ़े लोग जो भी हैं वो इस पर आराम से क्रॉस कर सके और गुड्स को हैवी गुड्स को भी कैरी करना आसान रहेगा ये एफर्ट और टाइम इसमें कम लगेगा इसलिए यहाँ पे हम लोग सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट शो कर रहे हैं जो एक स्मॉल स्केल पे शो कर रहे हैं हम लोग और इसको फार्मर्स यूज कर सकते हैं बड़े स्केल के लिए यहाँ पे हम लोग जो वाटर आ रहा है जो बारिश है पानी मतलब बारिश का पानी हम लोग यहाँ स्टोर करवा रहे हैं यहाँ पे पंप के थ्रू हम लोग वाटर सप्लाई कर रहे हैं और ड्रिप इरीगेशन के थ्रू इसमें हम लोग दिखा रहे हैं ठीक है अब यहाँ पे जो गंदगी है जो मतलब डंक है गोबर है जानवरों का वो हमारा इसमें चला जाएगा और एक ऑर्गेनिक कम्पोस्ट की तरह इस्तेमाल होगा घर से निकली गंदगी जैसे छिलके हो गए सब्जी के छिलके हो गए अब फल के छिलके हो गए ये फार्म से निकली जो गंदगी है और फिर इससे जो निकली खेत से जो निकली गंदगी है सब हम लोग मिक्स करके इसमें डालेंगे एम में एम में क्या होगा जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म है वो इसको खाएंगे और एनर्जी जनरेट करेंगे इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ये इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हम लोग इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं कहीं भी जैसे घर की लाइट्स वगैरह हो और इसको अगर बड़े स्केल पे करें तो एज अ सोलर पैनल भी ये काम कर सकता है हमारे लिए मतलब और एक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट करने के लिए काम आ सकता है यहाँ हमारा दूसरा सेटअप है एक्वाफोनिक्स का जिसमें हम दिखा रहे हैं कि जो वेस्ट हो रहा है अमोनिया जो जनरेट हो रहा है हमारा फिशेज के थ्रू ये अमोनिया हमारा बायोफिल्टर्स में जाएगा बायोफिल्टर्स में जाके फिर कनेक्ट हो मतलब कन्वर्ट होगा नाइट्रेट्स में और नाइट्रेट्स हमारा इस्तेमाल करेंगे प्लांट यहाँ पे जो प्लांट्स ग्रो करेंगे वो 90 परसेंट लेस सॉइल 90 परसेंट लेस वाटर और ये जो हमारा पूरा सेटअप है वो हमारा कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है मतलब कम पैसे में ज्यादा इफिशियंसी दिखाएगा तो इसमें कम पैसे की लागत अगर एक बार फार्मर वन टाइम इन्वेस्टमेंट है और लाइफ टाइम प्रॉफिट है अगर एक बार फार्मर इन्वेस्ट करेगा तो लाइफ टाइम प्रॉफिट उसको मिलेगा थैंक यू वाटर कंजर्वेशन इंडिया के डिफरेंट पार्ट्स में कैसे वाटर कंजर्व किया जाता है ये उसके बारे में जैसे कि रेन हम लोग जनरली हम लोग रूफ टॉप रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग का यूज करते हैं जिसमें हम लोग जो छत रहता है उसको एक पाइप से कनेक्ट करके फिर उसको फिल्टर करके फिर एक टैंकी टंकी में भर देते हैं जिससे हम लोग डिफरेंट पर्पज के लिए उसको बाद में यूज कर सकते हैं और फिर जाके अब जो माउंटेन रीजन होते हैं वहाँ पे हम लोग क्या करते हैं तो गर्ल्स गर्ल्स बनाते हैं एक जो माउंटेन रहते हैं उसके स्लोप पे गड्ढा खन के फिर उसको गर्ल्स गर्ल्स बनाते हैं और फिर जब बारिश होता है तो ये इजिली से डगर के फिर यहाँ पे स्टोर हो जाता है उसके बाद हम लोग इसको डिफरेंट पर्पज के लिए यूज कर सकते हैं और ये जो वाटर रहता है ये एनिमल्स के लिए सबसे ज्यादा अच्छा सोर्स होता है वाटर का और सर जो यहाँ पे मेघालय में बेम्बू ड्रिप इरिगेशन का यूज होता है हम लोग मानसराम और चेरापूंजी में सबसे ज्यादा बारिश होता है तो उस बारिश के पानी को कंजर्व करने के लिए वहाँ पे 200 साल से एंसेंट प्रैक्टिस चलता है कि वहाँ पे बेम्बू बेम्बू पाइप का यूज करके कैसे हम लोग पानी को कंजर्व करते हैं तो वहाँ पे बेम्बू पाइप को हाफ कट करके फिर पूरा वेब की तरह फैला देते हैं और फिर एक जगह कहीं उसे कनेक्ट करके लगते हैं फिर जब बारिश होता है तो पानी जो होता है वो वहाँ पे स्टे कर जाता है और फिर क्योंकि वहाँ पे स्लोप रीजन रहता है तो वो धीरे धीरे मूव करके फिर जहाँ हम ले जाना चाहते हैं वहाँ चला जाता है थैंक यू Our topic is sustainable agriculture. We uh, we have fitted solar panels, so it will use sun radiation to convert it into electricity. Then we will run the tube well with the help of solar panel. So the far villages where electricity cannot reach, it is beneficial. And we are here using drip irrigation. And so the water will reach the roots of plant by drop by drop. So in this way, fifty percent at least. Water can be conserved, and uh, as uh, water does not reaches the whole field, so unwanted weeds will not grow, and uh, uh, soil erosion it also will be prevented. Here we are using poultry fishery. Uh, we are doing poultry and fishery on the same piece of land, so land will be conserved, and the weeds released by hand will be fall down to the fisheries. so that it it can work as food for the fishes then uh then we don't need uh, to buy the food for the fishes so so money will be saved and the factory is produces food for the fishes do uh, release much much pollution so uh, pollution can be also reduced so this is our all topic dna technology iska is process mein hum दो ऑर्गेनिज्म का जीन लेके एक दूसरे मतलब एक किसी तीसरे इंसान में जीन डिफेक्ट ठीक कर सकते हैं 
ये दोनों सेम मॉडल है ये जो हमारा टॉपिक है रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी इफ दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट ओनली इफ दिस इज अ डीएनए व्हिच इज अ रोटेटिंग डीएनए व्हिच इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ अ टू हेलिक्स स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच कीप्स इट व्हिच मेक्स इट रोटेटिंग एंड द टॉपिक रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी इज यूज्ड टू मेक इज यूज्ड टू मेक एन आर्टिफिशियल डीएनए आर्टिफिशियल जीन बाय कंबाइनिंग टू डिफरेंट जीन्स एंड बाय एंड दैट आर्टिफिशियल जीन इज देन ट्रांसफर्ड इन द पर्सन विद जीन डिफेक्ट and by this process a person with gene defect can be cured by replacing the gene of a defective person by uh, by inserting a gene of by inserting a pure gene in in their body this recombinant dna technology can also be are used in forensic science department agriculture department and we can also produce vaccine and antidotes ये डिजिटल और सस्टेनेबल सिटी है यहाँ हम लोग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फीचर्स यूज किए हैं जैसे हम लोग ने बनाए यहाँ ऑटोमेटिक स्ट्रीट लाइट यहाँ पे जब अंधेरा होगा तो ये स्ट्रीट लाइट्स जो है ऑटोमेटिकली ऑन हो जाएंगे और जब उजाला होगा तो ऑटोमेटिकली ऑफ हो जाएंगे नेक्स्ट फीचर है ये वाटर लेवल इंडिकेटर इसको हम लोग टैंक में भी यूज कर सकते हैं रिवर्स में इसका यूज सबसे ज्यादा हो सकता है जैसे बारिश का पानी बढ़ते जाता है तो बाढ़ आने का जो प्रॉब्लम रहता है जैसे जैसे पानी बढ़ेगा ये सब ये इंडिकेटर से ये जैसे जैसे पानी बढ़ेगा ये बल्ब वैसे वैसे जलेंगे और जब पानी ज्यादा भरेगा तो ये अलार्म बज के लोगों को अलर्ट कर देगा और पहले से जैसे फ्लड से जो डैमेज होंगे उसे उनसे प्रिवेंट करेगा ये रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग है यहाँ रेन वाटर को हम लोग कलेक्ट कर सकते प्योरीफाई करके उसको हम लोग कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं डिफरेंट पर्पज के लिए यूज हो सकता है जैसे हाउस होल्ड वर्क के लिए यूज हो सकता है इरीगेशन पर्पज के लिए यूज हो सकता है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फीचर्स के डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वर्क के लिए यूज हो सकता है ये है सोलर पैनल या ये सनलाइट एनर्जी को इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट करेगा इसको हम लोग केमिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट करके बैटरीज में स्टोर भी कर सकते हैं ये नेक्स्ट है टेस्ला कोयल ये ये जो इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स होते हैं उनको वायरलेसली बिना वायर के चार्ज करेगा ये चार्जिंग का स्टेशन का जो प्रॉब्लम होता है उसको उसके प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करेगा बिना वायर के यहाँ पे व्हीकल्स चार्ज हो जाएंगे नेक्स्ट है हम लोग का विंड टर्बाइन यहाँ पे विंड एनर्जी को जो है ये इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट करेगा जब हवा बहेगा तो ये घूमेगा इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी यहाँ पे प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है तो ये विंड एनर्जी को इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी में प्रोड्यूस कर सकते ये मोटर जो है इसी को यही कन्वर्ट कर सकते ये डिफरेंट डिफरेंट आर का आता है ये कम आर करेगा थोड़ा भी हवा चलेगा उसको इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस करेगा उसको इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट कर देगा Yes, but I mean, like the same system work the operation is the system how it works like RO and also This water are getting polluted through the factories. Sir, this is a surveillance car which uh, which can go to uh, enemies area and uh, uh, places where the, where their enemies enemies camp and it can transfer live audio and video from from there to the boot camp. It can be controlled wirelessly and the the quality which will amaze you it is suicidal. If any enemy if any enemy catches it by the by chance, it with one tap it can be suicidal. and it can be wirelessly wirelessly controlled
little delay and so this is the live audio and video audio. Sir, as we know, a fire plays a theft role in a human life. It causes a lot of destruction and harm. Sir, our project is an AI firefighter. It is a combination of artificial intelligence, machinery, science, and equipments, and which is more efficiently in controlling the fire than the traditional methods. Sir, as we know, fire occurs at many places nowadays at extreme level and temperature. Just to consume, as you know, fire vans also take a lot of time to reach at that place. Till that, it causes a lot of loss to livelihood. So just for the reduction of time and extension of fire, we made this AI firefighter a reliable device. Sir, so as we know, when the fire, anywhere the fire will occur, it will sensor the fire automatically by its own of the flame sensors. Automatically, it will give the coding to the machinery wires and the tires will move on its own. At the particular place the fire has occurred, the tire will move and the vehicle will move at that place. And automatically, the process of transportation, the water will come out from this pipe and dry the fire without any human use or resource. We are here with our project, which is the Mini Divine Public School. So here we are going to show the process of rainwater harvesting system, which is on the rooftop of our school building. So, as we all can see that here, the water will come and here we are generating the electricity. And after that, through this light, we are lighting up the lights, which is present in our school. So, uh, the message which we want to, uh, the message which we want to deliver is that is that that uh, every child should know that how to conserve our resources it is necessary to conserve our resources because we are knowing that water is very less on our earth and day by day it is decreasing so we need to conserve water and every resources such like this we are willing to show that we can save the resources not only at home but also in our school Lakshmi. and and we can also generate electricity which is very useful and we can also and we can also use the electricity in our classroom when the lights are gone off thank you so much good afternoon we have made the model marine ecosystem and scientific farming through this model we have tried to show that how we can conserve the land soil uh, in hydroponic farming, we have tried to show that how we can do the farming without the using of soil. So, it, in hydroponic, hydroponic farming, the plants are grown vertically or in stacked system. This allows more plants to be grown in smaller area of land. In hydroponic farming, uh, leafy vegetables like spinach as well as many herbs like basil and mints can be grown. And this is the sprinkler system. In the sprinkler system, the water will be come in the form of rain. So all the water, it is, it the all the water get equal supply of uh, in all plants. And the main advantage of this sprinkler system are that it can save time, labor, and cost. Thank you. Thank you. So this model, we have tried to show the interconnection of all these three models. The animals and the fishes, their waste get dissolved into the water, which gives the nutrients to the water, such as nitrogen and phosphorus. So this water only we are using in hydroponic farming as well as sprinkler system. Thank you. It is three in one project. We have tried to show the here hydroponic farming in which we can set up it at home also and in desert areas also. And here we have set up the sprinkler system and here we have shown the aquatic farming, aquatic uh, ecosystem. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. I am Havni Srivastava and my team members are uh, Shishti, Soumya and Tulika and our model name is Sustainable Urbanization. In this model, we are mainly going to focus on how to improve the air quality of modern cities. The first and basic thing which we are studying from our childhood is to plant more and more trees. But when we see the condition of our cities, people don't want to spend money or buying a plot of land for just growing trees. So instead of uh, buying a plot of land, they can do this on their rooftop. So this is rooftop harvesting. Now, another thing which we are going to uh, do in this project is moss wall. Moss are the one of the best air purifier. They take in the contaminated air and convert them into clean air. So that will keep the building as well as city cool. 
now when we see uh, the condition of our cities people take transport for very short distances like if they want to go or a near in a nearby market they need a different type of car so instead of uh, taking a with the help of a car we will be using moving roads these roads are moving so a person standing over here can easily reach to his or her destination another thing which we are going to use in this model is the use of non polluting fuels like ethanol and electricity in, instead of petrol and diesel that cause a lot of pollution this was the city area and now comes the industrial area in this area when we see the uh, scenario of delhi just beside delhi is punjab and every year a lot of parali is burnt over there that causes a lot of pollution so instead of burning that parali that can be used to make bioplastic that was also represented by india in g20 what we are going to do over here is that this parali will uh, be sent to will be sent to this unit over here after that over here as you can see it will be cut into pieces then it will be transferred to this unit over here it will be washed and sieved with the help of a sieve after being sieved it will be transferred over here this is a mixer this is a mixer grinder over here uh, the uh, sieve part of uh, parali is converted into pulp after being converted into pulp this is sent to this unit over here the uh, see, uh, pulp is big and it's converted into different types of utensils which you can see over here now when we see uh, our industries a lot of smoke is produced uh, from our industries we can to clean that uh, smoke we can use the help we can uh, use uh, esp that is electrostatic precipitator what it does is it takes the uh, contaminated air or dirty air from the industry through these holes transfer it to this place as we can see now also the air is not so clean when you will uh, when you will press over here when we uh, put our hand over here we will see that clean air is coming out from here this is our model thank you janvi singh from class 8d and uh, this is our project with the help of my other three members who are vibhavi jaya and anushka we are from class 8th and we have made the wireless power transfer system which is a very common type of system nowadays in this system uh, energy is transferred without the help of any wire for example as you can see here the bulb is not glowing but when we will bring it near our this coil the bulb will start glowing due to the sunlight is not visible properly but it will start glowing so the question arises how it has been actually doing so here what has been done that uh, we have taken current from the battery and made it to travel from transistor which acts as a gate the circuit and then we have also used a resistor which opposes the flow of a current when these current pass from all these and comes to a transmitter coil then a magnetic field is being developed this magnetic field then produces flux these flux then gets converted into emf that is electromotive forces these forces then travels in a form of lines from a transmitter coil to a receiver coil and makes our led bulb glow if we will talk about its invention that in its invention is done by nikola tesla in 1891 it is used to uh, by keeping the points uh, that it produces high voltage with a very low current high frequency and ac that is alternating current in his mind if we will talk about its advantages then its advantages is that it is very reliable safe as the no wires is used of course it is very safe and also it is very convenient the uh, power transfer is unaffected in hostile environments for example snowy environment heavy rain environment etc if we will talk about its uh, applications where it is used so it is used in many today's biomedical devices and uh, uh, smartphones that are getting charged wirelessly by a pad in which this type of circuit is fixed and in phones this is particular circuit is fixed when we keep our phones on that type of pads the phone starts to get uh, charged yes thank you so this is the project of microbial fuel cell that generates electricity by the action of microorganisms you 
we need we see that in this um, positive uh, in this is the decomposed material in which positive ions are present and this is the salt water in which negative ions are present so it is connected with a salt bridge and that and the exchangement of ions takes place with this salt bridge with this salt bridge the and the attraction and movement of the ions generates electricity you can see the electricity yes sir i want to ask you that question sir if you have time Sir, how you what you can say about this science phase whatever our school has organized now today I am wishing you a very warm good afternoon. And here we are demonstrating the natural phenomena of water cycle, and including rainwater harvesting. So basically, water rain water cycle is also known as hydrological or hydrologic cycle. Here it is a process in which water changes its form from liquid to gas and gas to liquid, and it also describes the movement and it also describes the move, continuous movement of water. It contains four stages that are evaporation, two parts. Jalo evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and then after collection. Here evaporation, as we know, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. So due to the sun's heat, what they they the sun rays falls on the surface of water and it had it gets heated up. And we know that heated water always rises up. And on the other hand, we also know as when something goes from downwards to upwards, the temperature decreases. So due to this, at that when the water vapor goes into a dark atmosphere, the temperature decreases and condenses and forms clouds. And when it droplet, when it it becomes heavy with water droplets, it it then the rainfall takes place and this process is known as precipitation. And again, that is collected into some natural resources. And on the other hand, here is rainwater harvesting process. Rainwater harvesting basically means that it is the method to conserve water for our future use. And it is the best way to conserve. Yeah, and it is the best way to conserve water. Here we are following the sedimentation and filtration times. We know that when it rains, the water is stored on the roof. So we know that rainwater is the purest form of water. But still, it goes. It 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 is stored on the roof top. There are some dust particles due to the moving wind. So we need the filtration and sedimentation process. So here, in the sedimentation process, that the sediment, the hard, heavy layer settles down and the upper the layer moves to the filtration tank and in the filtration tank we you can use in if it is in huge quantity then in factories there there are filtration machines which from which we can filter the water and on the for homemade on, on home or for demonstrating the project we have used tissue paper we can we even can use muskin cloth or cloth or tissue cloth tissue papers but we have used the tissue paper here and then the water get filtered and goes into the down pit and uh, pit in the ground and from there it is used for uh, agriculture and irrigation and other various purpose thank you thank you very nice Here we are trying to show the effects of air pollution, which we have shown global warming, acid rain, and ozone layer depletion. Global warming is the gradual increase in the Earth's temperature due to the increasing carbon dioxide. As it traps the heat radiated by the earth, it is very harmful. Due to the, due to these glaciers are also melting. It is caused due to the deforestation of deforestation, plastic pollution, water pollution, and etc. Here we have showed acid rain. Acid rain is caused when the pollutant when fossil fuels are burned in the vehicles, factories, the pollute pollutants which are Release such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide. It goes in the atmosphere and mix with the rain, and it causes sulfuric acid and nitric acid. It comes in the form of rain. It is very harmful. It, it, it decreases the fertility of the soil. It is harmful for human beings. It causes itching of the skin. Here we have shown the ozone layer depletion. Ozone layer is a layer. In the stratosphere, in the stratosphere, it protects us from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Ozone layer is depleted when we use refrigerator, AC, deodorants. Chlorofluorocarbon is released. Chlorofluorocarbon goes in the atmosphere and 
it reacts with the O3 ozone layer and deplete the ozone layer. It is very harmful for our future. We should conserve these all. We can conserve global warming. Global warming by planting more and more trees. This is sewage treatment plant. As we all know that a city generates a good amount of waste water and Hello. it is not treated and uh, it is released in water bodies. Uh, in this way, a very heavy water pollution is there. But if it is treated and then released in water bodies, then it will cause a less water pollution. In receiving tank, all the waste water of the rivers, factories, buildings, etc. are collected. And then it goes into the next chamber that is screening and grid tank. In this tank, vertical bars are present with the help of those bars. We can separate the heavy materials like cans, bottles, etc. And then the sewage water goes into the next chamber that is screaming tank. In this tank, oil, liquids such as oil, fat, grease, oil, fat, grease, which are floating on the surface of the water are removed with the help of machine called steamer. Then it goes into the next chamber that is primary sedimentation tank. In this, uh, this tank is also known as clarifier tank. In this tank, silt, gravel, sand which are settled down on the surface of the tank are removed with the help of machine called scraper. Further, the water goes to the secondary sedimentation tank. You may have seen a green substance on dirty water. It is known as cum. Then, this, in this tank, water the scum from the water is removed. Then it goes to the aeration tank. Here a fan is present. It is also known as aerator. When this fan works, then air flows inside the tank and with these holes, oxygen flows in, in it and aerobic bacteria grows in it and they consume organic matter such as feces, food waste, etc. After removing the organic matter, the water goes to the filtration tank. Here, with the help of large stone, they remove remove very fine particles of soil from the water. Then it goes to the disinfection tank here. With the, with the help of UV rays or chlorine, they remove disease-causing germs from the water. Then the clean water is collected into the distributive tank. Here, from here, it is transported to different houses, factories, etc. Or, or it is disposed into the rivers, ponds, lakes, etc. Thank you. System. This is solar irrigation system and this is Persian wheel. Basically, we want to show the changes that has been occurred in this both uh, periods. This is Persian irrigation system. We have made this project manually. Uh, they, they both oxen were moving and this was also moving and the water was going inside this block. This is also known as water lifter. This is solar irrigation system and drip irrigation system. So basically, this is a solar irrigation system. So uh, there are some of the advantages of solar irrigation system like we have shown solar panel and sun so some of the advantages are like uh, we don't need any fossil fuels like petrol diesel kerosene oil and it requires the sunlight sunlight energy second advantage is like we don't have to pay the electricity bill because sunlight is obviously free and we have also shown the drip irrigation system when we will connect this when we will connect this wire, it will show the drip irrigation system. Some of the advantages of drip irrigation system is, uh, first, it uh, saves the water. Second, it protects the plants from the droughtness. Third uh, advantage is, is like, it uh, requires no electric bill and uh, we don't have to pay any electricity bill. Thank you. We have shown that how farmers were putting their efforts in this and how less they are putting in this. Basically, how technologies has built in this period. So, uh, we have shown that technologies are very much building so that uh, they have made this science speed to show our um, ideas. Thank you. This is electricity generator. The name of our project is emergency electricity generator. Sir, ask questions. So, so in this project, we generate DC power to light the LED unit by the help of dynamo to rotate the dynamo. We have used bicycle wheel and also for rotating the bicycle wheel, we have used hand lever by which dynamo can convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. In this, in this project, we use mechanical energy as input and electrical energy as output. So basically, we convert mechanical energy to electrical energy for electric. 
by using so we can use it in village for as main purpose as the so we can make it at home also with waste material we have purchased only dynamo we can make it at dynamo and when we rotate it out or at least stuff it will produce light and but we can convert it into bicycle it is is a uh, hydraulic light electricity Very generator but we will post this project uh, in a liquid so it will this black wheel will wheel will come to the big wheel and it will rotate in detail of preparation what you have learned and this bulb will glow now it's not useful so, now uh, it has been rotated and this bulb will glow now good afternoon sir this is our project Name solar and lunar eclipse. Uh, in this project, we will get to know the exact position of the sun, moon, and earth when the solar eclipse occur. Solar and lunar eclipse occurs in space. Some extra knowledge we can also get by this project that the rotation of Earth on its axis and the revolution of Earth around the sun on its orbit. It is beneficial for the small and young age kids to to understand better that the, how the Earth rotate on its axis and revolve around the sun, how solar eclipses occur and lunar eclipses occur. This is more beneficial for the kids of young age. And suppose wait. Rotate. This is solar eclipse when the moon comes between the Earth and Sun. This is known as solar eclipse. Just opposite of that, when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Earth, this is known as lunar eclipse. I'm going to demonstrate about our project. The topic of the project is agronomy horticulture. As we know, population is increasing day by day, and land is decreasing. This is not at all good for the farmers. Now, farmers are left with a small piece of land. So, what we are trying to show is how they can earn more amount of money by a small piece of land, or how they can gain more profit. We are showing apiculture over here. PC culture, poultry farming, cattle farming, and we are showing two type of drip irrigating system. First is sprinkler system, and the second one is drip irrigating system. Upper kar upper. So we are using the cow dung as a methane gas plant, which will be for, which is producing methane and which will be further used in the household work as a fuel as an LPG. The poultry farming consists uh, contains many uh, types of chickens. The excreta. The excreta, uh, the excreta that the uh, chickens are going to give, are is going to be used as the uh, food for the fishes, and uh, farmers don't have to waste their money or to buy, don't have to buy the food for the fish. हम मैं आयुष राज और ये हमारी टीम है हम एक कॉन्सेप्ट प्रोजेक्ट पे वर्क कर रहे हैं जिस कॉन्सेप्ट प्रोजेक्ट का नाम है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस बाय मूविंग व्हीकल आप गांव में काफी देखे होंगे कि आप गांव या फिर शहर के हाईवेज पे काफी देखे होंगे कि जो रोड पूरी खाली रहती है तभी भी स्ट्रीट लैम्प चलता रहता है जिससे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हार्मफुल होते हैं जिससे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जो होते हैं वो वेस्ट हो जाते हैं और जो जिस पावर प्लांट से वो आता है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वो जिस पावर प्लांट से इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आपकी आ रही है वो केमिकल्स रिलीज करते हैं भारी मात्रा में जो आपके लिए और इन्वायरमेंट के लिए हानिकारक हो जाते हैं इसको कंजर्व करने के लिए हमने एक ऐसे डिवाइस का यूज़ किया है जिसका नाम है पीजो प्रेशर इलेक्ट्रिक प्ले वो डिवाइस कुछ इस तरीके से दिखता है और ये पचास मीटर के एरिए में आने वाले सभी इलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रीट लैम्प को मतलब इलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रीट लैम्प को इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दे सकता है और इसको हम लोग बहुत आसानी से इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं और इसका कॉस्ट मात्र पाँच हजार आता है जो मेरे हिसाब से दो महीने के बिजली के बिल से भी कम होता है और इसको हम लोगों ने इसलिए इस्तेमाल किया है कि काफ़ी गांवों के ऐसे परिवार होते हैं जो इसको एफोर्ड नहीं कर पाते हैं और इसको एफोर्ड करने के लिए हमने इसको मतलब एक ऑर्डर टाइप में हम लोग तैयार कर सकते हैं और जब ये किसी स्ट्रीट लैम्प में लगेगा तो दिन में उसको ये चार्ज करके अपने घर पे भी इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं और इससे तीन काम हो जाएंगे पहला जगह फ्री में बिजली मिलेगी दूसरा स्ट्रीट लैम्प जलेगा और तीसरा आपको कोई ऐसा चार्ज करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी ये कॉन्सेप्ट अमेरिका ऑस्ट्रेलिया रशिया जैसे बड़ी शहरों में आ चुका है कंट्रीज में आ चुका है लेकिन हमारे भारत में नहीं आया तो हमारा मकसद यही है कि इसे हमें अपने भारत में ले आए
धन्यवाद ये सोलर पैनल है जो सन से हीट आता है उसको ये इलेक्ट्रिसिटी में बनाता है और ये सोलर ट्रैकर है जो जिस तरफ सन जाता है उस तरफ मुड़ जाता है ऑटोमेटिकली ये अपने आप मुड़ता है और ये सोल ये डिशो टू डिश की पावर बूस्टर है ये जो वोल्टेज आता है इससे सोलर पैनल से उसको बढ़ाता है और इस बैटरी को चार्ज करता है और ये बैटरी बैकअप प्लान के लिए रात में और इसमें एक मिनी वाटर पंप हम लोग का प्रोजेक्ट वेस्ट टू इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पर है जहाँ पे हम लोग शो करेंगे कि नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट से हम लोग कैसे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर हम लोग जितना भी नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट है जलाएंगे और ये सोलर पैनल इसको एब्जॉर्ब करेगा और ये सोलर पैनल इसको ट्रांसफर करेगा और ये ग्रीन इंडिकेटर इसको दिखा रहा है कि ये चार्ज हो रहा है रेड लाइट जब जलेगा तो ये बैटरी फुली चार्ज हो जाएगा ये टोटल बैटरी 12 वोट का है जब ये ये कन्वर्टर है ये 12 12 वोट डीसी को 230 थर्टी ए में कन्वर्ट करेगा और जब ये कन्वर्ट करेगा तो यहाँ पे हम लोग देख सकते हैं कि ये ग्रीन बल्ब जल रहा तो ये लाइट भी जलना से चालू कर दें और ये हम लोग इलेक्ट्रो स्टेटिक प्रिसिपिटेटर बनाए हैं कि जब जलाएंगे तो ज्यादा धुआं होने के कारण ज्यादा धुआं ना हो इसके कारण ये सारे धुएं को ऑब्जर्व कर लेगा स्मोक एब्जॉर्बर तो ये कम प्रदूषण करेगा Sometime we have heard in news that uh, child fall in borewell. So we have invented this machine CRB to rescue the child, child rescuer from borewell CRB. So it work like this that uh, here it is bore. Sir, suppose this is borewell and the the doll is child. So the doll is child and this is borewell. So we will insert this machine inside the borewell manually. We will insert this machine inside the borewell. and it will go inside the borewell when it will reach 1 meter above the sir uh, above the child then we will press this button then the arm will get spread like this and uh, when uh, then we will insert more inside that uh, and uh, when the child had reach here and hands reach here then we will press this button then the hands of this machine will come closer and grab the child so we can like this we can rescue the child and during this process it this machine may block the oxygen supply of the child so we are using a fan here which a fan here which which will provide fresh air to the child it will suck fresh air from this pipe and provide fresh air to the child like this we can rescue the child in less time thank you our project is related to smart city and this project in this project four main features are hanging train earthquake alert smart car protection rain water detecting system and the first one earthquake alert so this system works like this when earthquake small vibrations of earthquake came then the alarm turn on like this then the smart crop protection system it will it is helpful for the small scale farmers who are struggling of the animal struggling for the animal damages to crop it will work like this and the third one rain awareness device it is work like this Points, when rain occurs then the bulb glows up and we can use place of bulb uh, alarm which will turn on when rains and the hanging train system yeah for because conflict is a conflict of ideas to find it work like this you work you work together we can do our dream work water sense jab pani dalenge to bliss ud jayega abhi light nahi hona wo dikkat ki dikha bhi dete hain is isme servo motor ho sab laga hai आडिनो आडिनो कोडिंग हुई है तो उसी सर्वो जो बॉटर उसमें सेंसर में डालेंगे तो ये ऑडियो कोड देके वहां सेंसर या वो सर्वो मोटर लगा वो सर्वो मोटर जब रोटेट होगा तो उठेगा सर ये पूरा जो हमारा सेटअप प्रोजेक्ट है पूरा रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी पे बेस्ड है और इसमें हम लोग विंडमिल दिखा रहे हैं हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट दिखा रहे हैं और सोलर एनर्जी दिखा रहे हैं ये जो विंडमिल जो विंडमिल है और ये स्पॉन करो अभी इस समय लाइट नहीं है जब ये रोटेट करेगा तो ये स्ट्रीट लाइट जो है अपने आप जलने लगेंगी ये एल सेंसर है जब ये एल सेंसर धूप की रोशनी में काम नहीं करता मतलब बंद रहता है और जैसी रात होती है और और ये देखिए यहाँ पे अब यहाँ देखिए लाइट जलने लगी है 
और ये जो एल सेंसर है ये धूप की रोशनी में काम नहीं करता है जैसे रात होती है तो ये क्या होती है लाइट अपने आप ऑटोमेटिकली जलने लगती है और ये हमारा ईवी पावर प्लांट है इसमें चार्जिंग स्टेशन जहाँ पे यहाँ पे गाड़ियाँ चार्ज होती हैं जैसे कि गाड़ियाँ जो होती हैं सी पेट्रोल और डीजल पे चलती है इससे पॉल्यूशन होता है उसी को हम मद्देनजर देखते हुए हम लोगों ने ये ऐसा तकनीक निकाला है जिससे पोल्यूशन भी नहीं होगा और गाड़ियाँ चार्ज भी होंगी हमारा हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट है इसमें जिस वाटर से जिस इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेट हो रही है जो वाटर एज वेस्ट बच रहा है उसको हम लोग खेत में बेच रहे हैं भेज रहे हैं जिससे यहाँ पे पौधों को पानी मिल रहा है और इसमें भी ड्रिप इरीगेशन का इस्तेमाल हो रहा है जिसमें पौधों को पानी अच्छे से मिल रहा है हमारे प्रोजेक्ट का मेन मोटो यही है कि हम लोग रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्स ज़्यादा यूज़ करें और अपने एनवायरनमेंट को इको फ्रेंडली रखें थैंक यू सर हम लोग हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बनाए जैसे कि माउंटेन है यहाँ पे ग्लेशियर है रहेगा तो वो वाटर के फॉर्म में मेल्ट होके रिवर में जाएगा और जब रिवर में जाएगा तो हम लोग यहाँ पे एक डैम बनाए रिवर से जाके डैम में कनेक्ट हो जाएगा और उसके बाद यहाँ पे हम लोग एक वाटर पंप लगाए जिससे कि इसको हाई प्रेशर मतलब प्रेशर में जाएगा और यहाँ पे हम लोग टर्बाइन जैसे कि टर्बाइन जब ये मूव करेगा तो जब ये मूव करेगा तो यहाँ से इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस प्रोड्यूस होगा और पावर हाउस में हम लोग इसको स्टोर कर लेंगे और जब भी सिटी को नीड होगी जैसे कि मान लीजिए लाइट उट नहीं रही तो यहाँ पे हम लोग इसको यूज करके इसे यूज कर सकते हैं आप देखिए लाइट चल रही है पहले से हम लोग स्टोर करके रखते हैं इसका मेन मोटिव है कि जो भी सीओ और जो भी हार्मुल गैसेस निकलते हैं उसको उसको रिड्यूस करने के लिए हम पावर प्लांट लगा सकते हैं और इट इज अको फ्रेंडली इको फ्रेंडली पावर प्लांट एंड देर इज सम इन्फॉर्मेशन इट इज गिवेन हेयर यू कैन रीड एन यू कैन रीड एब्जॉर्वर इट विल एब्जॉर्व ऑल द पॉल्यूटेंस विच आर रिलीज फ्रॉम फैक्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रीज एंड मैनी अदर places it will absorb all the particles from the uh, from the fan and it will go inside the inside this uh, inside this container and we have put a, inside this container cotton it will be absorbed in the cotton and uh, some particles like uh, carbon will be uh, uh, contained in the cotton so uh, then we will uh, then will con uh, convert uh, carbon carbon into ink and and other materials Yeah, practical or also being done. रिवर की एक मशीन है और जो भी सब गार्बेजेज है जो कि पानी में पा, पानी के सरफेस पे मूव करते रहते हैं उसे हमारा जो मशीन है इसके कलेक्टर से ये उठाता है और फिर इस कंटेनर में डालता है और हमारा कंटेनर फिर इसको सेपरेट करता है रिन्यूएबल और नॉन रिन्यूएबल में और जो जैसे कि जो रिसाइकलेबल है उसे हम फैक्ट्रीज में फैक्ट्रीज में देते हैं जिसके कारण ये रिसाइकल होकर न्यू न्यू थिंग बन जाता है और जो नॉन नॉन रिसाइकलेबल है उसे हमारा उसे हमारा प्रोजेक्ट उसे मैन्यूर बनाने के लिए छोड़ देता है दिस इज अ वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री वी हैव मेड दिस मॉडल टू हैव अ ग्लेम्स ऑफ दैट प्राउड मोमेंट ऑफ इंडिया व्हेन चंद्रयान थ्री वाज लॉन्च्ड ऑन 14th ऑफ जुलाई दिस इज अ वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ दैट ऑल दैट चंद्रयान थ्री एंड रेस्ट ऑल द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस मॉडल इज दिस वर्क्स ऑन द दिस स्टैंड डीसी मोटर दिस रील एंड थ्रेड व्हेन दिस थ्रेड विल बी दिस डीसी मोटर विल बी ऑन दिस थ्रेड विल बी टाइड अप एंड एंड दिस विल गो अप लाइक दिस सो यू कैन सी द वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ दिस Like this, it goes. That, that's it about that. The name of this project is Antisle Pelam for drivers. We have used, we have used in this project is battery DC motor with wheel, relay, audio nano buzzer, and IR sensor. When drivers uh, fell down while sleeping, then uh, you wear the glass wear. Thank you. Thank you. Then. When he will close his their eyes, budget produce budget produce sound and will stop automatically. Due to this accident, will not. We are from Divine Public School. Uh, we are here to uh, amaze you with our amazing pets. <laughs> we have made this project to show you how does electricity generate from windmill. Hello. Good afternoon. We are the students of Class Six. We have made an automatic street light. 
we have used one LDR sensor which sends the light. When light will fall over the, this LDR sensor, it will start a, the electronic object which is connected to it. It will not work. When light will not fall on it, darkness will be there. Then the electric object will work. Means in India, many places the poles are working day and night both times. But this type of poles will work only at night. It will save electricity also. Sir, sir, light is there. It is not working. But when we are keeping my hand. Darkness in it is working. Good morning, sir. We are the students of class six A, and we have tried to make and an upgraded umbrella that we have titled as the multi-purpose umbrella. According to its name, it is sufficient to give us cold wind in the hot rooms for the summer, and also sufficient to give us light in the emergencies of the night. Night. As you can see, we have attached two solar panels on the upper side of the umbrella that takes the solar energy from the sunlight, convert it into electric energy, and do our all functions. This first solar panel is connected from this DC motor plus propeller that we also say to be a fan. So whenever we will switch on the switch, the fan will start working, the rotate and for rotating the propeller. That way, the second solar panel is connected from this rechargeable battery and the booster. That rechargeable battery will automatically be charged whenever the umbrella will go in the sunlight. And that when that rechargeable battery, the charged battery, we can use to turn on an LED at night also. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, this smart umbrella crossing का project है. जैसे कई बार देखा गया है कि लोग आते हैं इस umbrella crossing से तो vehicles उन्हें hit कर देती है और accident हो जाता है बहुत बड़ा. तो हमारे दिमाग में एक idea आया कि क्यों ना एक barrier लगा दिया जाए जो servo motor से connected हो. Servo motor एक motor होता है जो 90 degree, 80, 180 degree, 360 degree तक घूमता है. और और जो मोटर होगा वो ऑडिनो यूनो से कनेक्टेड है जो जो ऑडिनो यूनो जो होता है वो प्रोग्रामिंग के लिए होता है प्रोग्रामिंग चिप चिप होता है देखिए जैसे ये है ये ये प्रोजेक्ट है ये बंद अभी क्लोज है तो अभी ये वेकल्स बस जा सकते हैं लेकिन मान लीजिए कुछ टाइमिंग हम लोग सेट किए हैं तो जैसे ये खुलेगा तो हम लोग ये आप कर आप कर देंगे इसे हम आप कर देंगे इसे तो फिर यहाँ से वो लोग जा सकते हैं और ये वैकल अब नहीं जा सकते अब कुछ देर बाद जब ये बंद हो जाएगा ऐसे तो वहाँ से बस वैकल जाएगी ना कि पेडरेस्टियंस जा सकते हैं और हमने एक रात के लिए स्ट्रीट लाइट भी ऐड किया गया है दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑल अबाउट स्मार्ट फार्मिंग इन माउंटेन एरियाज हियर वी हैव मेड अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया फॉर द माउंट फॉर द रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग पर्पज From here, the half water gets filtrated into the well, and half water mixed into the mountain water, and it gets uh, collected for the farming there. It gets transferred into the farming area for the irrigation purpose. And uh, sometimes it happens that it, uh, the water gets overflowed, for which we have uh, and uh, it uh, it can cause the uh, it can cause many problems in the farming areas. Like it can ruin the crop if the water gets overflowed. So here we have put a water sensor that will notify the farmer every time the water gets overflowed, uh, and the farmer has to do only one thing: has to connect the pipe from the uh, from the lake water or the container. And the uh, and as we know, the acid, the rainwater is very acidic, so the uh, water will get purified and filled into the container, and and it can be saved for the future purpose. So this is all about our project, and uh, it has also many advantages. Like in plain areas, if any farmer will go. Uh, so it will be very costly for them. Uh, farmers are not very rich, so we have uh, created a new idea that it, uh, that the farming can also be done in mountain areas, and it can be also used for the tourist purpose. <coughs> Thank you. This model is we are generating electricity by untreated waste. In this, we know that India in in India we generate electricity by four means. We generate electricity by thermal condition. We generate electricity by hydroelectricity, wind, and solar electricity. But this time we are using waste material to generate electricity. In this, we we have took the incineration process at their upgraded level. We are burning the waste here at the 99.9 percent .9 of the combustion rate, which will generate only 0.1 percent of residue. Here we are using the contaminated water to be boiled, and which is generating the steam. And the steam, and due to the pressure, the cartwheel will work. 
and the cartwheel will work and it is connected to the turbine which will rotate the and it will generate the work so steam problem ho raha hai aapko lag raha hai ha is wajah se it was working fast to here then the vehicle will produce mechanical energy and the dynamo will convert the mechanical energy into a electrical energy and that energy we will store in a cell with and and also we have a charging point where the vehicles will charge and that energy which we have stored we will uh, use like uh, in a street lights to lighten up and also in nearby areas as you can see the clinic and the dhaba मेरा नाम श्रेया मौर्य है मेरा नाम वैष्णवी मिश्रा है सो स्पीड व्हीकल पावर जनरेटर हियर इज द आर प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच नेम इज पी स्पीड ब्रेकर पावर जनरेशन ही व्हेन द व्हेन ऑन द स्पीड ब्रेकर आर व्हीकल विल गो द स्पीड ब्रेकर विल गो डाउन एंड इट विल प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हियर इज द इंडिकेशन एंड द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट विल बी स्टोर्ड इन द सेल हियर इट इज and further it will be used in the parking area in where wireless charging of vehicles will be done and further in night time we will use this stored electricity in the street lights and further areas nearby areas thank you our title of project is pollution control system in this system we are trying to pollute uh, to pollute, control pollution as we know that india is the eighth most polluted country in the world also rivers in india according to the data 49% of the rivers are polluted so we have made a machine and a, uh, we have used a uh, principle of electrostatic precipitator to clean air for a machine like as we know that we uh, when we wash dishes wash clothes or anything else then soapy and dirty water comes out of the house and uh, uh, this will eventually goes to the drainage system and to the river and they pollute the river so it is very harmful for our environment here when the, we have made the machine when the polluted or uh, you can say that uh, contaminated water will come out then it will through machine it will get and clean out and uh, in this the uh, electrostatic pressure we have used aluminum foil and downside a wire mesh we have connected it to a battery and the battery and the wire mesh will be get charged and uh, the smoke will get uh, purified and uh, pure air will come out in the machine we have used charge charcoal to clean out toxins unpleasant smell and chlorine hair is epsom salt and alum because they have microbial properties so they will uh, remove the microbes also hair we uh, also use uh, filter paper to remove other impurities and uh, we have may, uh, we have also set a uh, electrode uh, with a supply of uh, accord, uh, 18 voltage of uh, 18 voltage and uh, they will also remove the charred particles so we have thought that we will use the system of electrostatic precipitator in the silencers of the automobile so they, uh, there also the uh, the the uh, the air will come out the smoke will come out clean it will be also we have uh, thought to clean uh, to reduce the noise pollution for uh, reducing noise pollution Uh, we have uh, we have thought of a system in which we will put two uh, between two walls we will put a foam as we know that foam has the property that it absorbs sound so uh, and uh, uh, if the hospitals or uh, you can say that homes or, uh, or schools they are uh, near the railway lines or traffic area the too much of sounds comes to that and this is not good so in the between the walls we will put foam and the uh, sound will be reduced and uh, inside it will be uh, good so this is our whole system here is the machine there is electrostatic precipitator we, we will use it in automobiles also to re uh, remove other the smoke and this uh, this is how we will clean the air and uh, all the pollutants and we will control the pollution sir my name is anshika yadav my name is sakshi singh i am smriti singh and i am anushka and we are four members we have made this machine we are students of class 10 Good afternoon. So this is our model, hydroponic herb gardening. In this, we have grown the plant without using the soil. We have used some organic matter that is coconut coir, and also we are transferring the nutrient that is dissolved in the water through a pipe. And using this method, we can perform sustainable development. When we say sustainable development, it means that we are uh, with the resources we are using today, we have to uh, leave it for the future generation. and we at the house we have grown here are cilantro basil and mint 
the purpose and advantage of using this method is uh, we can uh, grow disease free plant as well as it is very pocket friendly nutrient deficiency will be not there suppose that a person is uh, growing a soil a uh, growing a plant in soil and that is nitrogen deficiency so it will not grow perfectly but using this method as we are supplying every single nutrient to the plant it will grow perfectly and we also have shown that uh, how we are using a plastic bottle we are using plastic bottle because uh, we are performing a recycling process uh, we generally what we do we drink the water and throw it it also harm the environment and not, to avoid this we are using this uh, plastic bottle recycling process will be going on then there will be no uh, any harm to the environment we have here shown a fountain in many of the past and in many of the places we see that uh, the uh, water is overflowing and the wastage of water is there so we have connected this pipe to this bottle uh, in the fountain because we want to show that the wastage of water will be not there using this we can also grow some other plants but right now we only have uh, grown some herbs and to enhance this technology i would like to request the government because this our india is a agriculture yeah good morning sir this is a 3d model of a hologram which works on the principle of reflection of light here we have placed just a glass slab at the angle of 45 degrees and now whatever video we will play uh, or picture we will play inside it it will uh, look like uh, it is standing out from the surface as it is in front of us and uh, now uh, we have just placed the phone here and uh, the reflection of the phone is uh, uh, on uh, getting on the glass and uh, it is looking like it is 3d it is in front of us welcome to the gogo's world we are representing you gogo the robo and it is a all purpose robot which can be used in banks railway stations schools hospitals and other public places such as restaurants too uh, it has two features we have created an app through mit where it will accept the commands and uh, deliver the uh, the things from one place to another uh, where it is destined to be uh, it has also has two ir sensors if you create a path and it automatically will move to the destined path and deliver the things uh, but, and uh, it also can uh, be connected through by uh, through bluetooth uh, through, and, through the app and we can give the command it will work uh, well uh, we have seen in the past few years uh, covid 19 the pandemic it was a really horrible time for everyone and everyone was very cautious about getting infected uh, through it so uh, it can this uh, the message behind this uh, making this project was to decrease the workload on the people so that we can work on the development of the india and as the upcoming youth and a responsible citizen we we the students of divine public school it is our way of uh, giving contribution for making our india a futuristic india and giving uh, our uh, contribution for making a developed nation thank you The topic of our project is Chandrayaan 3, Pragyan Nova and Victim Lander. In front of Chandrayaan Nova, we have Pragyan Nova. We have created one sensor which can detect the obstacles. As the rover which was sent by ISRO it was also having the, the sensor in front. It was not controlled by any remote and all. It was all done by the AI coding. Similarly, we have also tried to make a small replica of Pragyan Nova. We have created one sensor in its front which can detect the obstacles. If any obstacle, if, uh, if any hurdles will come in its path, it will directly sense it and it will change its path. and we have also displayed the names of the scientists those who have worked hard to make the to make to make this project a successful one because today is the today's generation the main main misfortune of our country is that the students they are not knowing the names of the scientists they are knowing the names of the cricketers actors but they are not knowing the names of the scientists those who are the main unsung heroes of our nation so today we have today on this our special occasion of science exhibition we have tried to teach the names of those scientists and to give them a small tribute and the whole The project is a team work and we all have done so much we have all worked hard to make this project a successful one and the coding is was done by him Adit and we all have done a lots of work to make this project a successful and to make this day a memorable one thank you so much अगर आप इस चैनल को पहली बार देख रहे हैं तो कृपया इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें ताकि आने वाले वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन सबसे पहले आपको मिले धन्यवाद near to basketball court only we are not utilizing it getting or not so maybe somewhere we are lacking
Okay. Because if restrictions will be there, definitely you will speak in English. And always keep in mind, whenever you are speaking in English, whenever your presentation in English, your smartness is enhanced a lot. Getting or not? 18 hours though we are at home, only we are talking in Hindi. So until unless this promise today we have learned these things, whenever we are in a school uniform, we are in a school premises, we always talk in English. Clear all of you? Promise? Yes, sir. Because in coming time we will plan more events like this, more big events like this. I have just now told, if whatever you want, you please go ahead. I will give you whatever the support you need. Okay. I would like to give a special thanks to all the science teachers. Give them a huge round of applause for all science teachers. SST teachers, all the SST teachers, give them a huge round of applause. All the art and craft teachers. Last but not the least, that computer science teachers. So many the words are very nice. All teachers have done a tremendous nice job. There is no any problems. From last 20 days, more than one hour, zero period is going on and in zero period, all the concerned teachers I have seen from, I have witnessed that they all are behind your projects, they are trying to help you a lot. So please follow their instruction. They are all great teachers are here. They all are very good. They all like you too much. Okay. All the best for your coming futures. Happy Dashera to all of you. Just enjoy this holiday. Our Goddess Durga will bless you on to achieve whatever your desire are here. Okay? Thank you all of you. Now girls will you all will come on 26. Thank you. Thank you to all. Thank you to all the other teachers also. I have only spoken the name of some teachers, department wise, but other teachers' responsibility is also very, very important because all the Jigo period, other activities, they have also supported a lot. So give them a huge round of applause for all teachers. Mr. Best. 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 M